All right, so I have assembled all of the main character or the characters that you're going to add on to them. Um, I don't have all of them in yet, and I'm still trying to decide whether a nation's going to be native each character or whether I'm going to make a system by which they share. And right now, though, we are importing. I have about two right now. Again, those animations have not been added yet, but um, I still need to make more enemies, uh, more viruses. So right now, I am using Blender in order to make this virus here, which is known as Viking see how easy this can be probably spit there um uh, but yeah we need like now i'm not super good at making anything other than humanoid characters more often than I, so both this goes away so i kind of need to do Oh, oh wait matter of fact no what i will do is i will actually take because i know more now it. i will actually take add at a point I think I'm just going to do what I would normally do if I'll let me nope. try this text. Very weird. There we go. Single ray. So I'll bring that up here. Here. And I'm simply do is just trace out. It's like it's here. So here. The reason why I normally don't do this other area does it. Uh, normally doesn't write after. Give this but for you guys. I can try some. Um, mainly for see how long this actually takes because I'm trying to make the game as fast as I can. Um, so this means that. Um, I don't want to take too much time making all of the assets. I actually find them as can. But um, lots of the characters are not D. And I honestly want to make a 3D game. I'm, I've never been in like sprite based game that much. Um, I only tolerated them in my youth to the fact that I understood that that would be more that would lead the limitation of technology time. Now we have better technology. We have better skills. I say, why do we still make games with sprites? Now, I do understand that making games with sprites typically allows for games to be better optimized to appear to move faster. There are less things that the system has to account for, specifically like whatever you're playing on, the hardware that has worked so hard to animate sprites. But I'm also thinking of how much you as creator would have to do when it comes to animating the sprites. You have to draw you have to draw each character, you have to draw each animation you have to clean um there's so much that goes into it when you can just simply allow the software that you're using like a blender or a mixamo and that nature you can use all those to get the results that you really know when this um when this got messed up but oh and i actually did mess up as well it's okay i think it's okay to have two separate setups or two separate skin parts that way i can just color them separate now right now i'm just doing the left side of this character right this is its left side for us it's directly in front of us um and the reason why i'm doing this i run out was weird but the reason why i'm doing this is because although for artistic although for drawing purposes this spiky has its legs so that you can see all four really you shouldn't be able to see all four like that. um at least not exactly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make one side then i'm going to take this side and i'm going to do it simple as that. and i'm simply using the left mouse button and e to extrude hoping that it is all flat right now and then i'm going to take and oh, let's make sure yes yeah, it's all nice and flat Okay. Secondarily, we hit all and we hit F. That gives us our flat plane. Okay. It gives us the flat plane in that shape. All right. Now that we have the flat plane in the shape, the attempt to do is we're going to attempt to use solidify, get thicker. Okay. So make it thicker, however thick you want it to be. I think I'm going to make it, I think I'm going to make it super thick because I do want to put space in between so it's two different legs. Okay. What's going to have to happen is some of these places are going to connect in the middle. Um, so after I got to get out of edit mode, got to hit apply on here. And I'm, then I'm going to go back into edit mode, but split it directly middle. Okay. Because that is a point where some of these are going, some of these 
top parts of that we have for animalistic creature, right? So next we're going to we're gonna attempt to see if subsurface fire work how well it so far it looks like rose everything. Here we go. This is what the sub subsurface kind of fire did. And my good made it uh destroyed it. <laughs> like it kinda gave me what I want at at least at top half per se. But my goodness that no that is horrible to say um maybe maybe no let's try it again try it again. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decrease the amount out simple no and it's all they're all it's all connected at one point i'm definitely gonna have to figure out how to properly cut this so that subsurface modifier works better or it feels like on myself um but it doesn't the whole way though so maybe what i'm just number one collect all number two like the faces right number three try quads or triangulate faces and then tries to quads i normally like okay that could help me out uh next maybe we can Mess to symmetrize on the y axis. So it just made it doubled it up. Right, because no, Nick, Nick step now. Okay. We're going to have to move it first. Then let's see. And kind of I've done that. Let's see what subsurface. Subsurface is a lot better there. Okay. Triangulating the faces gave me a little bit more of what 